Hello? Yay. Hello? Yay! ISP was being ridiculous. Yay! Everything's fine. Yay! Okay. So. Cool. Sorry about the, the problems. Who's this bastard cool. promoting himself in stream? Hmm? Hmm? Totally wasn't me. Lost Ravens, totally you bastard. I don't know what you did, but if it was shameless, you should be ashamed. No, he's talking about me. I was uh, I was trying to get Twitter followers. Oh, don't don't listen to Doctor Zula <laughs> ever. Screw him. <laughs> anyway, where were we? You guys were casing the joint. Um, we just left to go meet stage. up. I think. Yeah, and I, yeah, and uh, me and uh, no, Jade and I were going to have like a uh, talk about how how men are cased. Yeah, girl talk. All right, enjoy your girl talk. Yeah. Wow. Wait, are we going Gilbert doesn't back. respond and completely destroys Let's our overlay. Let's do girly stuff. Thanks, Gilbert. Are Thank we going you, back Gilbert, to our... Thank ruining the overlay. Back to the camper to, to the inn, where are we going to talk? Well, we got no money. So True. I don't, we could, we could we'll steal a room at the inn. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to steal a room. Yeah. Uh, it's you okay. Know, Guys, I got us covered. I'll just say, we're a traveling envoy, you're my entourage, and we will go and say, I'm the lady, Lady Lamia, and we will just, yeah, go from there. Say we need a room. Let's do it. We nearly I do this. We do exactly what? Faking royalty is not... Faking royalty. Have, great idea. I have nothing. I got nothing. But Zarkon does have a great picture you can replace, um... On oh, Gilbert's saw. space, I saw. you use that. You can use that on the overlay. It's awesome. So, my plan. Oh, we've got a, the plan for the inn first. First plan. Um, do so we actually have no money at all? Hello. You are. You guys like, have like between the the four of you now. I guess you have um, like twenty or thirty silver. You've been recently just like kicking back in the woods, robbing a little here, robbing a little yeah. bit there, and you're on the point of running out of money. You know. Is that's not enough for a night at an inn, right? It's enough you know, for even a one. night at an inn. Okay. For then like we... one room. Okay. We're we're gonna gonna we'll room. get a room. I am not a horse. We're not, we're not gonna sleep there. We're not we just need to go there to talk. Yeah, we can just I with the money we can buy drinks. We have, we have more important things to do tonight. Yes. What? Like you know? what? Hello. What? Okay. Hello. We oh. <laughs> we go and get a room. Okay. Neil. You guys go and get a room. Uh, it's still early That's in the right day. There. It's you know, well, I shouldn't say early in the day, but um, early yeah, in the we, afternoon. We don't need a room yet. Let's just go oh. somewhere to talk. I'm this sorry, is, this is harmful to talk. gray mine that that oh they're not really Halloweenish. I guess I go with the horns then. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we do need a room. Um, to talk. It's the most private place I can think of. We we can just like sit in the corner of a bar and no, not that's not even people. that's not remotely private enough. We got massively ugly people in this party. We'll draw, draw far too much attention. <laughs> It'll keep people away. Let's we combine this. But they might listen. No, we'll, I, we go we go to the room and we'll sit around and we'll talk. Okay, so sounds good. Neil well, that's, that's has saying. all the money because he is your leader as the only yes, as the guy with thirteen charisma. He's actually your party leader, so he has all the money. Um, Seriously. Yeah, How seriously. much money does he have? Like, you know, 20 silver. It's not a lot. I mean, I guess 20 silver is enough for actually many rooms, if you wanted. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like two silver a night for a room. So <laughs> you could afford rooms. 10 rooms for the four of you. Yeah. Oh, like, we're, we're okay. loaded. Oh, I guess love. That is awesome. Uh, guys. What is this? Chat. What is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh. so good. That is wonderful. Uh, is and awesome. just so you guys know, Ergoslav actually drew that entirely by himself. Like there, there was no yeah. workshopping involved. That was just entirely is, Ergo's work. He is like, so talented by hand. He just, yeah. it just came like instantly. Yeah. For you guys on, on the, uh, what do you call it? I'm blanking on the term. Chat, YouTube. Drink. For you guys watching on the YouTube, this is what the picture looks like. There we go. Okay, so we go to the inn, I get us a room, singular, and then we all head up to the room. Okay. A room? 
Like we can, what? if we need extra rooms, we'll get them later at night. But for now, we just need we'll a room. St we'll steal them later. But for now, we need to sit around and talk in a room. Fine. Yeah. Okay, Scrooge. Like, seriously, can you believe this guy's yay? <sighs> hey, Man, we're not going to be here that long. Okay. So okay, John Locke, let's hear your plan. All right. So uh, Neil, I'm gonna I'm gonna be asking questions about what I saw when I when I cased the place. Mm -hmm. The guard that we saw guarding the corridor to the pumpkin or to the mayor's office where the pumpkin is was he was he like in view of other guards or was he just kind of chilling there alone uh there was a set that was patrolling around um but there was no guard at the time that was standing within eyesight of him right okay so my first plan is uh we go and we get some work clothes and we get like some bricks and hammers and whatever you know stuff you use to build things and then we blag our way in as workmen who have to repair a wall before someone steals the pumpkin. And we go in with, in a bag, a replacement pumpkin, and we replace the pumpkin. No one will even know it was taken until, like, it's rotted a few days from now. It's, well, they won't even know. Like, we can be so far away in the time it takes us, you know, it takes them to notice we've stolen the pumpkin. It's foolproof. And so what are the two females, uh, myself and... I don't know what your name is shipping there. What is your Lamia. Name? Lamia. What what are we gonna do? We we don't look we don't look like workmen. Well Lamia at least we can <laughs> pretend as a man. I mean that's not too hard. That's just you know. That's hey. that's a doable thing. Neil, were any of the guards female? Yes, there were two female guards. Uh, interesting. Yeah, see women can do things in this oh, fuck in this the world. Like, just, just go and this sex is... up the women instead. Like men's a pig. Okay, here's my idea. Lamia, well, first off, Lamia, were you actually okay. hitting on that guy, or did you have an actual plan to that? What? No, I was like, he was asking us if like, we want the good time, like, trying to, like, when his ship was over or something. I mean, seriously, a magic pumpkin, guys? What? <laughs> like, okay. I, I know that, like, guy was, like, brutally murdered, but whatever. <laughs> over it's it so like, quick we are totally no. I'll put it like this simple terms we are totally screwed if we don't get our hands on that pumpkin that guy will come and turn us inside out by the stomach okay. and it's not pretty I've seen that done before well, okay, since... wait 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 a second he said you he didn't say us yes the oh, only, yeah, he only you know, saw he's, John he's Locke totally and gonna, he's totally gonna just walk up and be like yeah it's cool you know you guys can go away I'm not gonna turn you inside out by the stomach just John over here you know you're, you're screwed and you know it if we don't get our hands on that pumpkin. I never saw Tend the guy. You he are. never saw me. I was still back at camp. He will find you. This is a man who can talk and see without a head. Okay? He will okay. find you somehow. That is here's here's my plan. My plan is since there's already guards out and about partying and getting drunk, we bring some of them back to a room and being seduced by Lamy or Jade. And then we either knock them out or kill them and steal their clothes. And then... Two people can go in and steal the pumpkin while the other people cause a distraction outside the town hall, bringing all the guards out. Yeah, that was my, my other plan was Head like, fight. we distract the guards, we like the, the girls go up, and there was like, there was crap, like there was like night soil lying yeah, around the gutters. Just... Like, they literally throw night soil at them and then lead them away from us. That was the other plan. Now I was thinking, I'm gonna go into the kitchen and I'm like, gonna whip up my special milkshake and bring all the guards to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if Night, Night Soil might bring one or two guards out. I don't know if they'd bring out everyone. And we might have to set fire to yeah, a building. But, okay. Oh, that'll work. Maybe. But I don't know if they're going to leave their post. The guards, Neil, were they wearing conveniently full face visors? You know, or were they. No. No, they, were... they were wearing chain mail with spears. No, um, the ones inside. Ones outside had spears. Some of the ones inside the main hall, the big halls. In the town hall, had spears, but the ones like upstairs on the second floor had swords. How big is the town? In terms of population. Roughly. In so yeah, in terms of population. Ten thousand. Six thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. Oh. Okay. Ten thousand. I don't it, know. It's hard to it, tell. It Statistics sounds like haven't been invented yet. Yeah, yeah. We don't have Sweden for that. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it feels like the kind Sweden of place where the guards all know each other. To me. Do you think all the guards would know, all know each other? Like, within one building, I feel like the guards know each other. Yeah, they're or, total fuck buddies. On one shift. <laughs> Maybe. 
Well, I mean, they probably get together in the evenings to bitch about how boring their job is, right? Friends with benefits, yeah. you know. Ne Neil, you, you said on the second floor um, there's yeah. like two patrolling guards and then one guard in front of the office door? Yeah, there are more guards on the second floor. The, the entire building has about two dozen. But okay. So there was like a hallway that led down to the mayor's office and someone else's office. And there was a guard standing at the front of that hallway. And when you had gone upstairs, a set of two patrolling guards had been like walking down the staircase. Oh, okay. So a total of three guards on the second floor? You, I mean, you got two guys that patrol all three floors. You might, you have a second patrol that goes elsewhere. You don't really know where they're going necessarily. Uh, there are a few other guards on the second floor as well. Okay. Plus whatever was behind the guards that you couldn't get past. I had an idea. And I mean another idea, <laughs> even even superior to the first one. Let's so we need a way to we need a way to distract the patrol, right? We need a way to distract a patrol out of guy sight of the so guy sight eyesight of the solo guard. Nah. So we have Lamia fake going into labor <laughs> on the second floor. How do we do this? How do we make Lamia look pregnant? There's pumpkins everywhere. Lamia, you just shove a pumpkin up the front of your shirt, and it'll look you'll look totally pregnant. It'll work, right? Then, while like totally. two people are distracting those two guards, I mean, like, help us, you know, does either of you know how to give birth, you know, or birth a baby, whatever. The other two of us go and deal with a solo guard using wit and cunning and the very few weapons and arms we actually have, and then we bust into the office and steal the pumpkin and escape. I know I rushed that last bit. I haven't thought that through <laughs> properly yet. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, no, I did like one part of your, I did like one part. plan. I mean, with, Lamia picking pregnancy, what we could do is like hide the pumpkin under a shirt, but somehow switch that pumpkin with a pumpkin in the office. That's that works, but we need to, we still need to find a way to get into the office or blag our way in or something. Yes. Uh, any of you guys any good at lock picking, or do we need to make sure we get a key? They don't call me John Lock for nothing. Yes. Um, actually, am I any good at? <laughs> am I, I, I can pick so. locks. Actually, no, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> okay, so they do, they do call me John Locke for nothing. It was actually kind of ironic when you got the name or something. It was so bad at picking it, locks. That you it were should like, have an E. It just doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't come up with the name. It's on, well, ever, like in half the, uh, on the character sheet, it has an E. Does it? Just, yeah. Oh. The, the character really? name. Just not the, not in the file name and not on the overlay. Did I miss copy? Good work, Neil. Like, God, get your shit together. Well, who cares about spelling? Spelling yeah. is unimportant. Okay, fair enough. So but there is supposed to be an E in your name. Whoops. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have a character. I'm gonna say I. I got like yeah, probably the best luck picking skill here. Mine is ten. Oh, mine is nine. So yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you you're better than me. My character is OP. So depressing. God. So Neil, like nine or ten luck picking is like. A ten percent chance to pick the lock or something. No, uh, if help? it's an everyday normal lock and you have your lock picks, it would be a ten out of you. Roll a d twenty, add ten to it, and if you roll a twenty or better, you would pick the lock. If it's a poor lock, oh. you only have to roll like a little bit lower. If it's a good lock, you have to roll higher. If it's an excellent lock, you have to roll higher. If you have poor tools, you have you know you get penalties. So that's the I don't even, I don't even have a number. Six. If you have a number, do, do you if guys... you do not have a number, it is zero. Yeah, that means you're like the worst lock picker ever. Do you guys have a handy dandy lock pick set on you? Yep. I do. Yep, yep. Okay, so either we try and pick it or we steal a key. I've got some tranquilizer stuff, so, I mean, potentially we could maybe use that to, if we don't want to kill the guard, maybe we can drug them, steal the we key. We might have to do that. If we kill anyone, it might draw too much. It might alarm the entire town. Yeah. So we still okay. So plan. So start of the plan, right? To get into is like first stage is okay. First stage to get into the building, we can walk in unless we go at night, which will be a separate plan. Second stage is get into the office, um, which so we need to get past the first guard, the lone guard, and we need to do something about the patrol. Um, one person can probably distract a patrol on their own. I don't know how, but I think that, like, assigning roles here, one person can probably do that on their own, right? I hope. I um, want to be the medic. If, we, if we're doing the labor plan, that would be two people. 
Yeah. Either, either that or as a group we blag our way into the office. Like, as construction workers, as was in the first plan. I actually mm. I, like not that. But the, whatever. the only problem I have with that is I don't think um, Blamir and I could pass as construction workers. I'm a little stupid. Plus we would have to get all Lam Lamia definitely stuff, could. We don't have money for Oh, shut up. We can. I'm sure we can find some bricks and stuff lying around. Like, what good are we? With like four thieves here planning this thing. Like, we don't have any bricks. We can't do that. We can find bricks somewhere. Neil, is there a pumpkin in the room? The room that you guys are in? Yes. No. <laughs> is there a pumpkin in the inn? <laughs> the inn has a few pumpkins in the common room. Okay. Uh, I step outside it's and Neil. find a pumpkin that would imitate like a pregnancy. I bring it back into the room and I ask like. Okay, would this look better on Lamia or Jay? Well, okay, so you find a pumpkin which would look like a pregnancy, which is a ridiculous state, like a set of <laughs> words to put together. <laughs> but um, you find a pumpkin that you could shove up someone's front to kind of make it look like they're pregnant. You're having trouble finding one that doesn't have a stem sticking out. But eventually you find one that you think, well, I could file down that stem or cut it off or whatever. It looks about the right shape. And as you go to pick it up, one of the people uh, next to you goes, Hey! What are you doing with my pumpkin? Hey, uh, I thought this was I everyone's thought, pumpkin. I'm so <laughs> sorry, I thought pumpkin. this was a pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> you had to take it for pregnancy emergency. <laughs> uh, is there another pumpkin? <laughs> what do you want your pumpkin for? I just need to borrow it for two seconds. All right, well, you can do it. You bring that pumpkin gap, though, okay? I will. I, I got my eyes on you. I know what you look like. I will I'll, find I'll you. Thank you. Okay, so I go back to the room and try and see which one of the... Uh, he was not away, blasted you hear him counting loudly. He, he's doing what? Counting loudly. Oh, he's counting seconds. <laughs> okay, so I go back to the room. Uh... So which cool, one of you want dinner. to play the? No, this is the, no, for the plan. Which one of you want to play the pregnant lady? Who is who is more believable uh, to actually be able to get pregnant? The four charisma <laughs> dog or the five charisma dog? Oh, yeah, and now the floor and the plan. Maybe. Maybe, maybe you should maybe be the pregnant one. <laughs> I, I don't think it's pregnant. a problem. Maybe someone, um, maybe someone got drunk and slept with one of us. Yes, okay, definitely. And you'd have to be really drunk to sleep with Lamia, so I think it's you, Jade. I mean, that, might, that much might actually kill you. You know, the kind of alcohol volume we're talking there. So, Jade, Not try, try the pumpkin. Right Not, don't try it on, try it in, if you know what I mean. Like... See, see how the effect is. Put, okay, put so in. Neil, yeah. I'm going to take the pumpkin and see if it's good as a pregnancy. <laughs> sort of. How convincing is this? It's one of those, like, that looks like your shirt is just being bulged out in front of you sort of things. Like a pregnancy. Like a pregnancy. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> it's questionable. So, I don't want to... Um, I want to take one of my daggers and cut some cut some strips cut off a um, hole in your sheet stomach and, <laughs> Put a and tie and tie um, it so so the pumpkin sits there without me having to like hold it. Okay. And like so tie you, it you off have so to get strapped. undressed to do this. Do you undress in front of the rest of the crew? Uh, do I? On the other hand, I have all these marbles. If you want to swallow them, maybe your stomach will bulge out or something. Oh. Wow. <laughs> If um, if she does, is this a is this a save versus fear? Maybe dragon fear, that sort of thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a I'm a thief. I'm like an orphan. I grew up on the streets and stuff. I don't care. I you put everything in your mouth. <laughs> okay, well, not, you. not the fucking marbles. <laughs> I am getting naked and then tying the pumpkin to my belly. I'm looking very firmly the other way. Okay. Very firmly. I'm casing. I am looking the wall. directly at Jade because there's nothing wrong with another woman looking at, at another woman. <laughs> when I see Jade undressed, I step out and I try and go find the guy that I took his pumpkin. 
<laughs> okay, oh, you find the guy. I'm like, sir, this pumpkin is amazing, but all I have is three silver. I need two for room. Can I give you one silver for the pumpkin? No, it's my pumpkin. How much would you want for the pumpkin? I'm putting in the competition tomorrow. There's a competition? There's a pumpkin competition tomorrow. I'm going to win it this year. Okay, what now is, I what feel is, bad. We can't steal this guy's pumpkin if it's going to be in a competition, man. That's, I mean, I don't have an alignment. Place. I don't have an alignment, but that feels just wrong to me in every they're way. Not, I could be chaotic evil and they're not sit <laughs> right. It's the guy's pumpkin for a competition. Okay, yeah, I'm not. What's the, tell us. What's the prize for the pumpkin contest? The prize? The prize. 60 gold. 60 gold. So you would want 60 gold for this pumpkin? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, no. Look. It's not just about the gold. You see, the winner of the pumpkin carving contest gets to take home the queen of the dancing contest. So it's 60 gold plus the dancing queen. Interesting. Okay, thank you, friend. Got I'm your still dancing queen right here. I'll be right back. I... Yes. I'll be so... right back with your pumpkin. So I go back to good, the room. I, I, I'll go out and say, say to him, you got your dancing queen right here. Yeah. All right, so I tell the group everyone that just happened. Okay, this is not sitting right with me anymore. We can't steal the guy's pumpkin ever. like that. Like that's just <laughs> you guys not cool. are the worst okay. ever. Fine, I'm cool with stealing from the beating. rich. Yeah, let's not let's use a pumpkin. Bunch up some well, no, and we'll we, see if well, we, we don't. We don't need the pumpkin as a replacement because we're using it for the pregnancy you shouldn't, distraction. You shouldn't steal from, yeah. from rich. Is he, he's poor enough? It is he is poor guy. <laughs> steal from I mean, rich. I, we, don't we don't need it. We don't need a pumpkin in the first place. We just can put yeah. use pillows or something. It doesn't. Yeah, need. a pillow. I mean, well, I mean, originally the plan was going to be like replace the pumpkin, and that was how we sneak it in. But then it's, it's evolved. There's pregnancy elsewhere in the plan now. It's now a distraction. So yeah, return the poor man. Everyone's now. pregnant. <laughs> return so, the like, poor man's I pumpkin. give back the pumpkin to. Um, okay, to I that. carefully take the pumpkin and return it to the guy outside. Thank you for my pumpkin. Thank you for letting me borrow it. <laughs> Okay, so what's the plan now? Now, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, we have to make Jade pregnant. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we don't have nine me. months, so. That was interesting. That was, you said it very well. I'm proud of you. <laughs> We're going to need a bed for this. With lots of sheets on it. You know, so we can use the sheets to make Jade look pregnant. You following me now? Yes. Oh yes, yes, that sure. Not, <laughs> not anything else. <laughs> Don't worry so, about it, Jade. Neil, we're gonna try and use sheets and pillows and see if we can make a halfway decent pregnancy bulge. <laughs> On you, right? How how heavy is Lamia? Because I'm like this little stick figure. I'm 115 pounds. How tall are so, you? So, I'm five one. Yeah, that's not that stick figure like. I don't think. Is yeah, it? but short and light. Yeah. I mean. I mean, you're short. You're short and lean. You're not like. Not, yeah. I think you're not like under. How much? What's what? What about you, Lamia? How we? Oh. What are we looking at? Kind of weight and height wise. Uh, five three and one twenty five. One one hundred twenty five pounds. 125 is more realistic for pregnancy, I think. So, I think we make, as, as unlikely as it would seem, we make Lamia pregnant. Oh, that's fine with me. Guys, sometimes. Fine. Okay. Um, you and Jade can do this. Uh, I have got to go and ask some questions. And I, I'm going to head back to the town hall. I want to talk to some of the guards. While they make themselves look pregnant, I'll so head down to the bar. One day I, I will. Uh, one day I will sit down and explain to, to uh, Jan how how babies are actually made. So look, if know. it's like, if I just want to say, I definitely do not want to be in the room if Lamia is getting undressed. Okay, I'm, that's <laughs> not definitely not happening. I'm going to go ask the guards some questions. Uh, you know, charisma isn't necessarily looks, but whatever. Might just be. The most awkward and obnoxious blonde valley girl you've ever seen. Who happens to also be dog ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile at the town hall. 
<laughs> away from away from Lamia and any you know kind of hint of not being fully dressed. Uh, I approach a guard outside, you know, and hail the guard. Mm -hmm. I say, uh, "Wow, pretty, uh, pretty busy ha Halloween time in this town, isn't it?" Yeah, absolutely. Jesus, you know, I'm from insert town that's you know a few towns away, and uh, you know we take we thought I thought we took it seriously, but damn, this you guys you guys go pretty hardcore. Well, you know the legend of the headless horseman, right? I've heard I've heard rumors. Could you could you you know tell me? I've never heard it from a local. Well, some three hundred years ago, Prince was a uh, well, Prince. One way of putting it, he was a uh, diddling around with his sister and screwing with some of the maids. Got a, there are even rumors that he was a uh, dealing with some dead folk. You know, real perverse sort of fella, really gross, oh, perverse kind of guy. And uh, he was caught, and we cut his head off. A couple days later. He, he, uh, his body gets back up right before we put it away, hops on a horse, kills the father, kills a couple other people as he rides out of town. And uh, in where his head used to be is now this pumpkin. Like, because we chopped his head off. And yeah. when we went back to find it, it was just the body, and where his head should have been was a pumpkin. And so the pumpkin wow. just never aged. And every year on uh, the anniversary of his death, or his rebirth, actually, it gets a face carved into it to take the, his own face. They say the face has been getting more and more skeleton-like over the years, and now it's just, just a skeleton face. And where, where is this pumpkin? It's in the town hall. It's in the town... I mean, on display, or...? No, it's locked up. It'll be on display tomorrow night. Oh, wow. It sounds like a pretty valuable artifact, a magical pumpkin. It must be guarded pretty heavily. Is that, is that your job here? You pumpkin guard? One of few things. Few things. Would you say that's the most important thing you're guarding? You know, this time of year especially. Uh, the most important thing. Oh, I, I think people's lives are more important, but sure. Well, I mean, you know, there's people, and then there's a, a magical, never aging pumpkin. Yeah, but you can't you really know. do much with a magical, never aging pumpkin. It doesn't actually. You can't really do much with some people, to be honest. But uh, okay. Thank you very much for uh, coming out of the time. horse's mouth. That is, that is most interesting. And I, I head back to the inn. Meanwhile, uh, hopefully, hopefully Lamia meanwhile, is stressed. We've, we've been working on this uh, whole pregnancy bump bulge thing, trying to fashion it with some sheets, you know, like wrap them up, some pillows, mm -hmm. try and make it look good, proper, maybe find some extra clothes so it doesn't look really terrible. How's it going, Neil? Does it it's look going all right. Let's see how you guys do. You do okay. You you. What are your guys' intelligence? Nine. I'm like a nine. Yeah. We're not particular. Felix King, nine. are you helping them with this stuff? Yes. Okay. Ugh. So you got that uh, thirteen intel there. Okay, so uh, I'm basically I'm basically stripping in front of uh, our leader, like taking it off. How much does he like it? I don't. <laughs> do not like it. <laughs> do you, I'm telling him, do you like what you see? Or maybe I should say, so, do you like what you see? It's just mm -hmm. part of the job. I've seen better. Oh, I doubt that. I mean, like, well, would you ever want something else than this? And like, just try to give him the full view. Uh, while John's I, away, I quickly cover my eyes. <laughs> while John's away, I wanted to bring this up, guys. Uh, this whole horseman thing, it seems like his problem. doesn't seem like ours. Uh, right? Because, I, I mean... About that. Didn't think about that. He, he well, said, you bring it. He didn't say, yeah. all of you. I mean, we. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean... Yeah, John's, yay boy should be taking care of his own problems. John's not here right now. Uh, we could all split town and leave him to his own means. <laughs> I, I'm I'm totally. happy with that idea. We could we could also steal the pumpkin though, because that pumpkin sounds pretty cool. 
Well, if we steal the pumpkin, we have to give it to them. Oh, well, we, we would just uh -oh. deal with them. I oh, think whoa, whoa. We could just have a magical pumpkin and sell it. We don't need to save John's life. Uh, well, I'm fucking bored. So just let's do something. God. Okay. Like sign up looking pregnant. I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's stick with the normal plan. We'll do this pregnancy thing. And we'll wait till John gets back. Oh, hi. there he is now. <laughs> oh, this, hi, and, John. And as I walk into the room, how, how, how dressed is Lamia? Not very dressed. Just bed sheets. Like, I, I 180 so hard, it becomes <laughs> like, it, I come back round for the 360, and then I just, I propel myself on and go for like the, what would it be, 540? And and then I like I literally do like a fucking spin and just walk out of the room. Um, wow, calm down, Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're finished. Looks like it's going well. Yeah, well, we're done here. Let me put your clothes back on, please. Don't listen Guys, to those men. I think you look great, Lamia. Thank you. And I and I proceed to give you a big hug. <laughs> okay, so when when Lamy is dressed, and I, I guess I wait like a couple of minutes and go back into the room. Hopefully, Lamy is dressed by this point. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You you okay. you wait until I'm decent. That will never happen, by the way. Nope. <sighs> okay, so seems I just had a chat with the guard. It seems like a seems like a pretty tight operation they're running over there. The pumpkin is. You know, one, they, they all value it highly. It's not like they're kind of sitting around thinking it's stupid. It's the pride of this town, which is kind of depressing when you think about it. But it is a magical pumpkin, so. Um, so which plan are we going with? What's what do we think? I it, I believe we're going with the pregnancy plan, right? Uh, we uh, kind of uh, skipped like, over the whole, the like, whole exit bit. We already like. Halfway through, why? Why just? Uh, I don't get you. Yes, we can stick with the plan. Now, I mean, it's like the worst plan ever. Thanks, Casey, but I'm so fucking. Worried. Okay, I've got another. Um, your plan's evolving, right? Okay, so how about like you pretend we pretend you're going into labor, and we say we need like a desk or a bed or something. For you to lie on, you know, so you can comfortably give bath, and the only one that's nearby is in the mayor's office. So they take us to the mayor's office, and then, like, all commanding, we're like, you go and get hot water, you go and get, I don't know, it's this and that, bandages or whatever you need for, you know, giving bath. And then when they're all okay. gone, we steal the pumpkin. Oh, uh, alright, but what, what happens then? Like, they probably will just drag me to the inn. Well, I mean, you're, you know, if we make a big, if we make a big fuss about it, if we get in front of the pumpkin guard, the specific pump or the office guard, and then you like start going into labor there and make a huge deal out of it, you know, they're not going to drag you down two flights of stairs and, you know, or is it, it's not the second floor in, in America, that's the first floor, so down one flight of stairs and out, and you know, to the inn across the, you no, know, they're not going to do that. If we make a look, yeah. okay, was it a male guard or a female guard uh, at the? The office guard, Neil. The office guard was male. Okay, well, he's gonna... It's a male guard, okay? He's not gonna keep his head in this kind of situation. Nothing scares a guy more than the thought of a woman giving birth. He's just gonna panic. He doesn't want this problem anymore. He's gonna be like, you know, what can I do? And we'll say, we need a desk. And he'll be like, this way. And he'll take us to the office. I can guarantee it. It'll work. 100%. 90%. Okay. But who's... It's gonna be the father. That's what I'm talking about. Who's gonna be the father? Because... Just like one well, traveling. Well, obviously Shotgun, the father left you. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. He doesn't like, need to be a father. It was just a one night stand. That's yes. uh, yes. Although maybe, yes. well, maybe that a makes father. That because all oh, men are pigs. Maybe yeah. a husband would be better in a circumstance. Someone who can kind of, you know, be all authoritative and say, "You there, you know, get my wife." Uh, what? Do, okay. What? What do you need to give 
you know, to do a giving bath thing, you know, what does hot water and blankets? <laughs> I don't know. Hot water and Never blankets, right? Never given birth before. Like crazy. We, so we that need, stuff, you know, that's not fucking disgusting. I don't need it. I don't need that fucking shit. So having a husband figure there can be like to the guards, you go and get some hot water, you go and get some blankets, and you know, that sort of thing. That might help. Okay, John Locke, you can be the husband. Yeah, I walked into that one. Okay. <laughs> No, so you like sky, you skydived into that one, Chris. I like, skydived. I realized like halfway through making the argument, and it's never gonna be Felix now, is it? No. Okay. All right. Okay. I can. You know. I can. Actually, no. It should be Felix. Felix got more charisma. You're more charismatic than me. I feel like you could order them around better. All right. I can do that too. Hobby. I my I like, uh, go for it. Uh. Jay, do you have the blow gun, right? I do have a blow gun, and I have some tranquilizer and stuff. Yes, I think I... you should come with us. Yeah, no, I was just going to stay here at the inn while you guys stole the pumpkin. But yeah, I should. Yeah, that's probably a better idea if I come here. And then. Yeah, like Jay is the best way. What she does, she, she, she's the best blower I know. <laughs> <laughs> Also, just a random thought that just came into my head. There might be windows in the office, and we could just drop the pumpkin wow. out the window windows to somebody. Wow, the building? That's crazy talk. I know. It's on to me. That so maybe we could have John Locke standing like outside the window, and someone can just drop it to him instead of us having to switch for... That is mad. But that's actually a really this good idea. This all sounds foolproof. When shall we do this? Well, I believe we only we have till tomorrow night, and I don't know exactly at what time tomorrow night. What time is it, Neil? Uh, middle of the afternoon now. It's like three or four. And people were getting really plastered outside, right? Yeah, people are all like, tomorrow is the big deal, like the big party and the feast. But there's still going to be plenty of celebration going on tonight. You know, so they're key point one? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, so, so let's, let's walk through the plan. The let's afternoon. walk through the whole plan step by step. Okay, here's... The, okay. Uh, me, Lamia, and Jade go in, go up to the one guard. We start faking the pregnancy and we go into the office. And then either the guard leaves and maybe more guards come, but we knock them out. You'll be standing outside the window, and when the guard leaves, we can drop the pumpkin to you outside, and then you can leave town. You Leaving how us big was the pumpkin? screwed. Do we, I do see we no know ways. how big the pumpkin is? I mean, it's a head size, right? It must be someone's I mean, it's, head. It's a big pumpkin. It's actually like, oh. it would not, it extends over the shoulders if you were to put it on Makes it head. easier oh, to catch. Okay. Yeah, but could it? It's still heavy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, What's I don't your strength? Think, I, I'm not stupid, so I'm gonna say this. Uh, but will it fit for the window? Uh, if it's shoulder width, it might. It won't even fit under your sh your shirt. No, I, 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 those, like, I it's, case. It's one of those broad, wide pumpkins, not a really tall one. So if you turn yeah. it on its side, you might. You think you might be able to stick it through a window. I mean, I I cased the shit out of that place, Neil. I know what those windows look like. Yeah. Well. How, uh, yeah, you can see from the outside. It would fit through a window if you turned it on its side and pushed out. Yeah, got it. Um, I should also... Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What? Hint? <laughs> or are you going to say that there's no windows in the office? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys know that there are windows in the office. The okay. office does face the outside. Cool. It faces the town square. Okay, this plan is, this plan couldn't possibly go wrong anywhere. I like I I oh, thought it through. Square. We're gonna be public view. It's totally. I thought it was on the back of the building. But guys, we, so if it fucks up, we can just blame Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. Alternatively, okay. So alternative plans, right? Before we go through this f totally foolproof one, is there a way? Can anyone think of a conceivable way we could hide in the building until night time, when hopefully there's fewer guards? And then break into the office at night and do the whole thing then, like tonight even. Yes, it would have to be I tonight. Like but I don't know where we would hide. We cannot do the pregnancy thing if we're doing it at night. The, the only problem yeah, no, though no, no, is like, totally how are we going to hide when Lamy is pregnant? 
Oh. I mean, like, no, it's a totally, it's a totally separate plan. If we, if you know, forgetting that, which couldn't possibly go wrong in any way, you know, could we conceivably hide in a building? Do you think? We could if we found the right spot. I mean, I'm oh. sure eventually, at some point, the hall closes, and most of the guards leave. So we just have to get in before then. Like, Neil, if do we know when it closes or if it closes? The town hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it closes at nightfall. Okay, how far away from the nightfall is it? Like a couple hours? A couple hours. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Let's go in and try and find a cellar. The, the corridor that the solo guard was guarding, Neil. Mm -hmm. well, describe how that looks to you know looks to me. I've I'm thinking. I've never seen a corridor I've, before. No, I mean, how it, does it go around a corner at the end, and like the one uh, of the doors so that leads to the office? So after you go up or? the stairs. Yeah. Uh, the stair. So you walk into the hall. The, the town hall. It's actually like a, a large, long hall room with a winding staircase at the front of you, like at the very end of the room that yeah. goes back in two different rows and like peels out around you and then heads back towards the, the front of the building. So if you walk, if you take the left one, walk up the stairs and keep going, you come to a fork and directly in front of you is the hallway where the guard was standing and at the end of that hallway there's like a window that looks out over the, the um, courtyard and then there, on the right, is the mayor's room, and on the left is like the the whatever you'd call the right hand of the mayor, the vice mayor, the the secretary, his second in command, something like that. It's the right hand. <laughs> okay, I just had yet another. Okay, let me do, let me let me talk to you, let me talk to you guys right. Okay, so what I do is I go up there and I distract the hallway guard and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to like walk up to him as so I'm going to walk past him or nonchalant and then I'll just book it past him and sprint down the corridor right he'll chase me surely the first thing I'll do is turn around and chase me window at the end I will jump through the window I'll like I'll dive through that window and gracefully land on the other side and like turn back and taunt him you know something to distract him right this he's going to second story by the way which means Second story, the yeah. floor above the ground level for those of you yeah. in uncivilized parts of the world. That's a 20-foot yeah. drop. Not 20 foot, really. Second story. Second 10, story. I 15. Would, if, you're jump, if you're diving out of a window, I would say it's probably like a 15-foot drop. Cool. 15 foot. Easy. So, I will dive through that, turn back, taunt the guy. He's going to run like down the stairs, find more guards while he's left his post. Because, I mean, he's going to leave his post, right? He's not just going to stand there and call for help. Someone sneaks into the corridor and goes into one of the rooms and finds somewhere to hide because there's no way they're going to search somewhere which is meant to be guarded all day, right? They do this daily. It's going to, they're going to have a habit. At the end of the day, they check the building, see if there's anyone around. They're not going to check somewhere which is normally already guarded. So someone goes and hides there, and then in the middle of the night, they sneak out, find the pumpkin, steal the pumpkin, you know, do their thing, and then drop it to someone waiting outside through the already broken window. That sounds like a plan. Jade just stares at him and blinks. So I'm just pointing at my stomach that's like filled with sheets and shit and like... Um, I'm giving us options here, okay? What do we think's best? Because I'll go with any of these plans. They're all genius because I came up with all of them. <laughs> they are genius plans. Yeah, they're Maybe all Maybe too genius for these simpleton girls. But hey, I think your plan of distracting... We're just what? small town girls living in a lonely world. In a lonely world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think your plan of distracting guard and jumping out a window uh, is a good plan while the rest of us hide until nightfall. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm ready or not. Ready for what? <laughs> Do you know, can we really give it all we got? <laughs> I don't understand where you're going with this. <laughs> Bloody fucking song lyrics. You know what? Okay. What you need to do first, right? Before I do anything stupid like this, you need to go up and nonchalantly case that corridor from, you know, the, this end, from the public end, and, like, plan in your head where you're going to look to find a place to hide, right? So that you're not kind of trying to figure that out when you get up there. Right. Okay. okay. And then when you're done with that, you come back down, get me. I'll do my, you know, acrobatic surprise, you know, the guard. And then we'll take it from there. 
After that, we're just making it oh. up as we go along. Let's go, guys. One, two, three. Break. Now yeah, we should we wait till closer towards yeah. till nightfall. Yeah. Not I also want to take a, a pillowcase if they have them um, to like maybe smuggle the pumpkin out in. Maybe pillowcase from the we, That's cool. We could even like. Um, we could even use both plans at once. Like as the guard runs down the stairs to come outside and catch me or find help, he like he runs, he runs past Lamia going into labor on the stairs, <laughs> and then he has to deal with two crises at once. Yes, that might work. Makes sense to me. Do it, Lamia. You're going to be going into labor on those stairs. On the yeah. stairs. <laughs> like just like no. sitting on one side of the stairs, like ah, like ah, it's painful. Contractions are, ha you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> And then he's like, there's a guy, the window's like, broken, he's running away, but he didn't steal anything, and here's someone going into I labor, like, what do I do? Water's broken. Uh, yeah, that I sort mean, of thing. That's, that's so perfect. much pain right now. Oh. Perfect. perfect acting. Okay. okay right, so go and have, it. Let's, let's do this. This is foolproof. All right, this is your plan? Yeah. All right, plan. so we're going to take a, our first real commercial break, three minute break. We will be back in three minutes. The internet is not dying this time. We will see you guys in three minutes. Bye-bye. Ah, panic! Picnic! Picnic! Ah. Picnic! Everyone picnic! 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 Bye. Yeah. Oh, I hope this plan works. Oh, I, I can't believe Gilbert did what he did. Oh, well, hold on. We're still live. <laughs>